Yes, so I'm here with, uh, with Jack Sim uh, from the World Toilet Organization and Amy, Amy Johanneman uh, from um, ACRO. Amy and, does design, yeah. Amy does design. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, well, Amy, I, I just wanted to... Yeah, I, it's so awesome. You're sitting here talking with Jack and he was talking to us about you know, WTO, the World Toilet Organization, and you said this thing that was really interesting to me. You just said um, you make something out of nothing. Yeah. And you do it with, um, and you do it, and you make it kind of like a spectacle, and you have humor in it, and you've created kind of the WTO is based on kind of something out of nothing and creating conversation and spectacle from just kind of free media and, and interesting, interesting whatnot. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. That's like something interesting. Yeah, I, I find that uh, getting nothing out, uh, something out of nothing is always possible if you are able to align the interests of the what's in it for me, for everyone who is going to participate with you. Uh, so another example of, of having um, created the World Toilet College out of nothing. So I have no money, no teacher, no student, no curriculum, and no school license. And I want to start the World Toilet College because I... I think that there's so much knowledge that is not being shared and people need to learn how to clean the toilet professionally like the Japanese can do so well. Um, people have to build ecological sanitation, disaster sanitation, hand washing and everything. And even the architects designing the public toilet wrong all the time because the, the water is here, the soap is there, the hand dryer is over the other side and also the ladies are all queuing up for public toilets. So, so we need to change all the codes of practice and all that. So to start the World Toilet College, um, how do I do it? I go to the Singapore Polytechnic and say, hey, I, you know, sometimes your classroom are empty, so I want to start a World Toilet College joint venture with you. So when we uh, train people, your teacher can do it, and uh, we write the curriculum together. And so I get school, I had classroom, I get school license, I get a joint venture partner and I get legitimacy of, of a, a polytechnic, very famous polytechnic logo on the World Toilet College certificate. And then uh, how do we get students? We, we find the toilet cleaners, then we get the uh, union chief to subsidized training and the government to skill development fund to subsidize 70 to 80 percent of the training cost then we get the cleaning company to pay 20 percent and then we get um, the Japanese trainer to come in to train our local trainer and then we transfer the know-how and everything runs and so I pay nothing I just dream up things and make everything happen uh, now I want to create this entire market infrastructure where some people are driving demand, some people are, are giving the financing facilities, doing the microfinance, some are doing the wholesale finance, some are manufacturing, designing, distributing, franchising, installing. So just imagine that the whole world is working like that and I start to find all the pieces and some are missing but a lot of the pieces are there, they just didn't talk to each other, they didn't weave into a piece of beautiful picture, they did not uh, communicate because a lot of them see each other as competitor, they work in silos. So if we bring them all together, you get economy of scale, you get um, a lot of synergistic idea, you, you get more easier, better, faster, uh, um, sexier products. So then you can buy them in bulk, all together, very cheap and then you can create financing because now the financing guy come in and there's a lot of customers. The manufacturer come in and there are a lot of customers. Then you create competition so that the price come down and the innovation go up. So the entire market infrastructure is, is possible as long as people are playing the game. Mm -hmm. And how to get people to play the game? First you have to dream until you understand the whole picture and you see the whole picture very, very clearly. But you just go and catch people and sell them the story. And as long as the what's in it for me is answered, so the one who wants to make money smell money, mm -hmm. the ones who is kind-hearted felt that they could come and help build the infrastructure, uh, uh, try to support some seed funding to certain people, and the others are already doing what they are doing, just you bring them together and they are aligned. 
And if you are doing it without wanting to claim credit, want to let them shine, let them look very good, then they are all for you, right? Yeah. But if you are going out there and say, Oh, I'm this great man, I'm your leader, follow me, nobody's going to follow you. Who wants to have a boss? Nobody. Okay? Yeah. So if you want to be a servant and you want to do the gap filler job and you want to be the guy who is not funded, the guy who is doing those things that are not that up there on stage, then they are your friends. So everybody is my friend. So this is the nice thing of the World Tyler Organization.